Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Leo. Alright, so let's go ahead and clear your energy, Leo. Alright, so I'll be reading from three sets of cards. The first one is the Osho Zen Tarot, as well as our Lover's Oracle and ending in the Romance Angels. All right, so I've went ahead and pre-shuffled. And so I'm just going to cut the cards here. All right, so it's pretty interesting energy that's happening right now. And this energy, ooh, we have postponement. Conditioning. Control playfulness and so what I was saying earlier is we are in a very interesting energy right now and there is a lot of energy surrounding reconciliations and because of that a lot of us are kind of pulling away from any energies of love and I feel like that's where you're at right now with the state of love Leo is I think you have an insight because you know these Leos they're very intuitively smart <laughs> And they, they tune into stuff before everybody else. And I think because of that reason, you know, you guys have a little insight that there's something kind of happening here and something happening behind the scenes. All right, we have letting go. All right, I'm going to pull a few more here. Um, so, you know, it's okay to be well guarded it's okay to be scared of getting in a new partnership or maybe in a new partnership with an old person you know from the past and i think that you know I, these cards as i talk about them you're going to kind of understand where i'm coming from when i say that it's okay to be in those spaces because there's a lot of learning that you've been going through, Leo, and I still feel like you're really healing from this person from the past still. And that's why I'm a little concerned for you right now, just because I need you not to be guarded, but at the same time, know everything that you're seeking is seeking you, okay? And so understanding and correcting those thoughts, if those thoughts are manifesting things that you know are not healthy for you, Leo, because you do have to take care of yourself. You know, you got to keep yourself as number one. Well, we've got completion. All right, let's see where we head from here. We have success. The rebel. Ooh. The creator. Maturity. And we are the world. Oof. Pretty intense here. Let's see what happens on the bottom. Transformation. All right. So I'm going to take a couple of these cards and pull them out first. And, you know, the first one I'm going to put is we are the world. This is unity consciousness. This is you understanding that that evolution and so here we are looking at um, postponement and this card really represents a lot of things that were supposed to happen but they just didn't happen and I think that's the situation you know in the in the past here is that maybe you're with this person that you really thought was home and for some odd reason you know you walked away from the situation and this person came in possibly at the wrong time you know and I think it was a matter of maturity because there's a maturity card down here maturity between you two maybe there were some lessons that you guys still needed to learn about your your ego okay maybe that person was brought in to trigger you Leo into a better version of yourself think about that okay because not all situations um, are unhealthy I say 
none of the situations are unhealthy. Yeah, and so I think that person's energy from the past made you feel like an outsider. Um, and, you know, that's what it's kind of showing me here is that, yeah, you, you felt like an outsider. And you decided to postpone your feelings about this person for the future. And that did create a lot of postponing stuff in your life. Maybe you were trying to get a career situation going. Ooh, good change. And you had your head so wrapped around this person that you could not figure out how to get yourself out. I think you were wrapped up into love too much with this person. You had some guidance come in and there had to be some change, okay? I mean, I think it was all about your conditioning. Maybe, you know, there was something from your past that was disrupting the situation and it was causing a little bit of havoc. And, you know, there was somebody in the situation here that was trying to control you or you were trying to control them, whatever the case may be. Like I said, cross watchers, male or female, whoever this resonates with, somebody was wanting to gain control here, okay? But I think in the very beginning, this relationship really showed that there was a lot of, well, there was a lot of play. You guys played a lot. I, I think that was the biggest thing here is you guys really loved each other in the very beginning as far as like timing and stuff like that was concerned. And I think that you guys had a lot of travel plans um, that got disrupted. And I'm gonna put the travel card over here. And that could have been some really great things, but I think that Leo, there was a third party situation or there was something that was intervening in this situation, yep that was causing suppression in one or the two of you. You guys were having major, major problems. And it all of a sudden became very apparent to Leo that, that he or she needs to let go of that situation. And so that's what happened. Leo walked away or cross watcher walked away. And I think after so much time of trying to create this change in this, in this relationship, well, Leo created it and moved on out, okay? And then I think at the very end of the union, this beautiful We Are the World card came in. And the World card comes in and decides that it's completion, it's a done deal. There were le very, very valuable lessons that were learned here, okay? And because of that, well, it caused this, this completion. It caused this completion. And for good reason, because it opened up the door to what? Success. It opened up the door to success. You had to give something to create space for something else to move into there. And Leo, after this situation, you were so heartbroken. You didn't even go date other people. I think this person from the past thought you, you did, but you didn't. You created success instead. You went right into your career and you forgot about love for a little bit. And I think at some point, well, you became very rebellious in, the, in your thoughts. And you said, I'm not doing that anymore. Or cross watcher, again, whoever's, you know, or your partner was like, we're not doing this anymore. Okay. And so you became a rebel in that situation. You decided to play your own life. And you started creating a more happy, more peaceful life. And you decided that there were things that that stuff from that person in the past really weren't in alignment with you. But, of course, the universe is really weird and always has to bring in all the side notes or all the side balls and says, hey, let's stir up the pot a little bit and, and see where, where you reside, see where your truth is. And when that happens, well, hmm, here we go, right? We got to learn some lessons regarding maturity. We've got to learn some lessons regarding maturity. And those lessons come into the form of love. And because of that, well, here we are again. 
moving through these motions of lessons and learning them so much that they're like our tools at the end. Right, Leo? Because i that's what I see here. <clears throat> With that creator card, it's like you took your power back from that situation. Ooh, you gained some higher consciousness because of it. Went through the dark night of the soul. Here we go. That's amazing. Yeah. So you replaced it. You healed and you went into a higher state of consciousness and you became more mature about the situation. There was guidance here for you, Leo. You weren't alone. I think when you thought that you were alone and you were hurting, you know, you weren't alone. Um, I do see some travel here with you. Even though I said earlier that this could have been travel plans messed up with the past person, it very well could you be you dreaming about traveling or opportunity opening up for you to travel. Okay. All right. So I am feeling the strong energy of an open door. Okay. And, and as soon as I got into, huh, oh, and this is so funny. The outsider is the open door on the other side of that fear is everything we want, right? I think I'm going to pull a couple more cards. I'm really feeling like I need to tell, you know, Leo some things or two. All right, we have the dream. Ooh, oh man. Here's why this went down. At first, I was kind of confused as to why all these cards kind of came up in play. And there was a story happening here. And this story, well, Leo, you guys were talking about dreams together. You guys were setting up dreams of the future. You guys were talking about maybe setting up home for the future, male or female cross watchers. And here's what happened. Do you see this individual here is dreaming of that love story? That's a female. That person, I think, is you, Leo. And this could be male or female. That's you. You were dreaming of this beautiful romance. And something happened. Something happened. I got to pull some more cards here. What's going on, Leo? What happened? You were dreaming, and I think maybe that person was telling you this stuff too. This person was telling you that you were there forever. Oh my gosh, Leo. I need to know a little bit more here. Angels, guides, Synod Masters, give me the card that I need for the understanding for the sign of Leo. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Comparison. This ex was comparing you to someone else? Leo, my lovely Leo. As this, the plot thickens and they went against your morality? Your moral value system? Who's this person, Leo? And you guys were fighting all the time over this comparison? This person was putting you first. Here's the problem in this story, Leo. I think you knew this person was your soulmate. I think you believed it. I think you felt it. And here you are sitting off healing, reminiscing about the dreams that you had together. Too many dreams together. And they broke my lovely Leo. I'm sorry, Leo. So they were comparing you to someone else. And you guys had harmony together. Oh no, Leo. Oh, so Leo, you had to break your own heart. 
you had to break your own heart in this situation because you wanted harmony in your life and they were comparing you to someone else and it was causing all this fighting. Oh no, Leo. Ordinances. One more. I got to see what's happening here. One more for my lovely Leos. Thunderbolt. Ooh, made Leo angry as heck. Leo was sitting there thinking this whole entire time, I am your soulmate and you are comparing me to someone else that is not. You had some guidance that was telling you this was the one. You were holding on for dear life. And then you finally, Leo, you finally let go. because you were suppressed. All right, one more, one more. Receptivity, all right, so here's what's happening here. This goes full circle, this goes all the way around um, because this is a receptivity and this means that this person is gonna try to come back in. Look at these cards and the, the colors are reminiscent to each other. So this is showing that there's gonna be this reconciliation. They're coming in full force. They are, they really are. I mean, because of what they cause Leo here, lots of heartache and lots of just, you know, anger. It's like standing there and you, you know that you're the soulmate, but then they think that someone else is. It's interesting. Poor Leo had to go through that. But here we got the reconciliation because this person had an awakening. They did. This consciousness card created that awakening, that morality card. Well, they were even asked, thinking about their own moral values in this situation. I think that possibly there could have been, you know, you or this other person could have had some conflictions maybe with religion or maybe different viewpoints. Maybe you were, you were raised totally different. Um, but yeah, Leo, this person's coming in and you're going to have to find some receptivity, okay? And that means that you're going to have to be a little open to what this person has to say because there might be this major awakening and they might be really, really redoing their life, you know, for the, for the better. So I'm going to take these cards down and lay these up here. Ooh, Leo, 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 Leo. What do we have going on here? Leo has been going within and really trying to stay out of the limelight. I'm seeing here, Leo, because you didn't want anybody to see you crying over this situation. Oh, lovely Leo. It's hard when you know something and you can't convince somebody else of it, right? But when you get your dreams crushed and you're just like, I know this is my one, maybe the universe will change everything and change that person and they'll come back in and I'll be the one. They'll be receptive to me. They'll know that it was me the whole time instead of this other person, right? And I think that this time around, there's gonna be this awakening for this person. And you know, you, you do, you have to be receptive to love so that it can come in. Because I feel like this one's gonna be really good this time around and they are gonna change and something's gonna transpire. And Leo, you know, I do feel like you are in your wish fulfillment energy right now. So it wouldn't surprise me if they're coming back in and feeling that energy as well. All right, so we have these two cards down here. All right, so the first one I'm pulling here is the Passion card. It says magnetic and sed seductive qualities surround you at this present moment. Please enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, so Leo, come on, enjoy this passion we have going on here. I mean, this is a beautiful thing. It really is. You know, having somebody come in and 
bring you the love that you've been wanting. You know, you've had this broken heart for quite some time. I love this artwork with the tree and the, the hearts. Here we go, time. You're trying too hard, give it time. So yeah, Leo, I think you're still in a state of healing and until you're done with that healing is when this person from the past can come back in. Maybe this person from the past is trying to plan and do things for you so that they can come back in. Oh my, yes it is, it's them. Look, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So yes, they're coming back to, to get reconciliation with you, Leo. And so here we go. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And that's for real. I mean, that is the, the gig. Leo, you're wonderful. Here we go. You guys are reflective of each other. Here's where, where the triggering's been coming in. And that's why there's this, oh, what a situation, you know. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So, you know, give each other space, give that person time to do what they need to do in order to come back and reconcile with you. And maybe this time they'll be healed, they'll be better, maybe they drop their ego, or maybe they drop somebody else. Who's to say? Whatever this resonates with anybody, please make sure you guys are like, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Make sure you're hitting that notification bell so that you're going to be notified when my new videos come up. All right, so we, our last card here with the Lover's Oracle is beware of what you're projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your very own reflection. So yeah, this was you guys really triggering each other um, to be better versions of yourselves. And so I think that I should pull two more. I'm going to give my lovely Leos two more cards here because I think that you guys deserve it. With going through this heartbreak, you know, sitting there knowing that you guys are meant for each other. Oh man, my lovely Leos, how many times have you hit that around in your head so much please stop overthinking about it give yourself some rest you need some relaxation at this time it's really eminent that you take care of yourself okay all right and supposedly this is the week of the soulmates so we'll see what happens whoa dang here we go i picked my beloved and here we go twin flames your passion <laughs> ignites Woo, well, there you go. We've got twin flame love coming in here. And then look, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And so, yes, this is your intended one. Just be patient, Leo. I know that this person is, is coming back in. I know that the, the universe was speaking to your heart and letting you know that this really was home. But maybe that person had some lessons and some things that they had to resolve in their life. And you were part of you know, getting them to that place. And then you guys get to come back to this place. So that's really beautiful, Leo. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go to, here we got the beloved, my beloved and my twin flame. Um, let's go ahead and go to the romance angels cards here. All right, I'm gonna cut the cards here real quick. My lovely, lovely Leos. Oh my. You guys have the most horrific love stories sometimes, my beautiful Leos. Look at here. We've got three of them getting to know each other. So it's okay. It's time to start loving. It's okay to love now, Leo. I think that you've healed enough. It says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens. So yes, maybe this person is coming back around. Maybe they realized that, you know, you were very valuable to them. It is safe for you to love, Leo. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then we have finances and career. Finance issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I think that you and this other person possibly might be 
um, planning on, you know, putting money together and then taking a trip to see each other. Or they may be coming to see you. We got chemistry. Oh, okay. So, you know, this person from the past, you guys got a lot of chemistry, Leo. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. And I think you guys have that from the get go. You were like, oh, dang, I love this person right away. And I think that it took time for you guys to open up to that, but you ended up doing that and it created some romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, you know, this very well could be that beloved. But, you know, the timing was off. Maybe you guys had to meet together and get through the lessons and then you guys matured and you grew and then you come back around, you know. But honestly, Leo, you got to be receptive to love because we have sacred union coming. Passion. Look at this. These are beautiful cards. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'm going to pull two more here. All right. Lovely, lovely Leo's attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right. We got one more here for Leo's for yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So, you know, this is free yourself. And, you know, for those of you Leos that know you have to, you have to be done. If this person is just so toxic that you can't really have a relationship with them, yeah, we'll separate, okay? Create separation with that person, you know, because there is new love coming in here. And for those of you, the beloveds and the twin flames are coming in. If you aren't in this little scenario and this doesn't resonate you, your other scenario could very well be you separating <clears throat> you know, from a piece of yourself in order to create that space for this beloved to come in. Because when we get consumed in our thoughts, sometimes we're consuming ourselves. There's no space there, even though we're moving back into the past. For those of you that need separation, we'll do it, okay? I also feel like for those of you that do have that story, well, there was a separation time for you guys and you freed yourself so that you could come back together. This looks like wedding here. It also is connected to express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gestures. You guys are going to go on some type of retreat and take some, some time out from the world. All right. Pulling one more here. Trust. Trust that everything that you were feeling in the past, Leo, was correct. The situation's calling for you to have faith. I'm going to pull one more here. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this is for the people that aren't in this scenario, okay? This is saying that, yes, Cupid's coming in. You see Cupid up here in the top. It's coming in to hit you with that arrow so that you may fall deeply, deeply in love with your beloved, okay? Because that energy is right there. You still have to be receptive for those Leos that aren't in that situation the ones that are single Leos, it's coming in. It's coming in fast. And you've got to be receptive to it. It is some higher power energy. And it is the divine feminine. And it's coming for you. And I think it's just because you've been so authentic this whole entire time. Your authenticity has brought your soulmate in. So enjoy yourselves. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you'll be notified when those new videos come out and you'll be the first to see them. If you'd like to book a reading with me or contact me, all that information is down there in that description box below. And I love you, my lovely Leos. All the good's coming to you. I don't see any bad coming anymore. I think you've already gone through all the bad. Now it's time to receive and receive your greatest love. Namaste.